Hi guys, today we're looking at the Jaeger Lecoultre, or JLC for short, Master Compressor Geographic. Now this watch is from their Master Compressor line. They have a whole bunch of different models like a chronograph, just a simple automatic and uh, a whole bunch of other things. But this is the Geographic and what it does is have a, uh, a second time zone. And I'll talk more about that in a second. This is a 41 and a half millimeter th uh, wide watch. It's 13.9 uh, millimeters thick, and it has a 21, I believe, millimeter uh, lug width. Now, this watch, uh, it being a master compressor, uses a, an interesting system to lock down the crowns. Now that's these two things here. Now usually on a watch you'll have screw down crowns to make it water resistant. But for a master compressor uh, it gets its name from these two little things here which you twist them back and forth and it just uh, it becomes watertight when you turn this little compressor dial. So what you'll see is here you'll see it's uh, red you should be able to see the, these two little red arrows over here and on the top you should see a little white arrow so when it's when you see the white that means it's watertight it's that it's locked but, and when you see the red that means it's not locked so here it's in the open position and then I'll just turn it and now you'll see the white arrow and that tells you that it's locked down and the watch is watertight and this watch is watertight to 100 meters so remember this is there's no screw down crowns here. All you have is these two little uh, little compressor valves that you just twist to lock the watch. Now this is a polished uh, stainless steel case. Uh, this this one came on a alligator strap. It also comes on a metal bracelet. Uh, the strap has a deployant. So you can see it pops up into like that. It's a nice, simple deployment. It's signed Diego Kutra. And it just, it's a friction lock. So it just snaps into place. Uh, on the back, you can see the, the case back here. The case back is screwed down. And this, it looks like rose gold. Uh, I'm not sure how if it's plated or if this is solid, I'm not t totally sure about that. So now let's take a look at the dial. This is a uh, relatively shiny black dial. And now let's talk about the special feature of this watch. Now remember, this is an automatic watch. It's no ba that means there are no batteries. It has a rotor in the back that turns around as you move your wrist to wind the spring. So this watch is a pretty impressive feature for something that's totally mechanical and has no computer chip or anything like most like a like a digital watch would uh would say. So this has a second time zone. First here you can see the hour and minute hands and you see the second hand with the little red triangle tip going around. Now, this subdial at the 3 o'clock position is a date. Uh, you probably can't see this, but there's 31, 31 uh, numbers. Actually, no, there's only half the numbers are marked. In between uh, each number, there's a dot, so it goes 1, 3, 5, 7, etc., all the way around to 31. And now, this dial over here is your second time zone. So this is a 12 hour dial. On the top of it, right now, you, it says PM, that's your little AM PM indicator. A lot of watches that have a second time zone are G GMT watches and they'll have a 24 hour scale, usually around, uh, around the dial. But since this watch only has a 12 hour scale on its second time zone, you need the AM PM to uh, know if it's night or daytime in your second time zone. Now on the bottom here in this white area you see names of all these different cities. Right now it's set on to Paris but 
right next to it you see over here there's Cairo here there's London here it's GMT uh, at the edge here it says Moscow and there's all different cities and this runs behind the dial all the way around the watch so uh, I'm not going to change it now because this is not my watch um, I borrowed it for this uh, review so I don't want I don't know how to work it uh, exactly and I don't want to mess anything up but basically what you would do is release the compressor and as you turn the dial it's going to switch time zones on the bottom there's a little red arrow in the center of this white piece and it points down to what time zone you're on so as I switch it next it's going to go to GMT then it's going to go to London and it's going to go around to all these different cities and I think it covers every time zone so this is it's a really cool complication uh, it's very useful because not only does it tell you, does it keep track of the second time zone, but you don't have to know what the difference is from, let's say, London to Moscow to uh, be able to figure out what the time is there. All you have to do is you set this for one city. So let's say I set this for Paris. So now if I want to know the time in Moscow, I don't have to know how many hours it is different from my time or from Paris time. All I have to do is turn this dial and it's going to, the watch is going to figure it out and tell me. So I think that that's a really useful and very cool complication, especially if you're a traveler, if you have business in other cities around the world, or whatever. This can actually be very useful for you. So now to set this watch, because it's uh, so complicated, besides having these two dials, there's also a little, a little uh, thing in there that you have to push in to set part of the watch. So you'll have to stick a little toothpick or a little tool in there to push in this little guy and then you'll uh, be able to set part of the watch. So I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly how to set it. I don't think it's too hard but it's more than just on a regular watch just uh, turning the crown. Uh, now it's a really really well made watch. Uh, retail this watch should be over ten thousand dollars list price so this is a very expensive watch but what makes this a great watch is that Jaeger LeCoultre is a manufacturer and by that I mean everything in this watch from the case to the dial to the movements is made by Jaeger LeCoultre a lot of watch companies like Omega or Breitling and many other ones will buy a movement from a company called ETA and then modify it somewhat and then put down their watches. But JLC creates everything themselves. So this is a totally in-house watch. And a lot of watch collectors uh, kind of prize something that's totally in-house. It's a little more unique and depending on your opinion a little bit more special but you also pay more for that. And that's part of why this watch is so expensive. Now everything about this feels well made. It's incredibly solid. All of uh, the whole case is very smooth. There are no sharp edges um, on the back. You know, it's everything is very nice. It's very comfortable on the wrist. It wears nicely. Uh, the deployance is uh, pretty decent. It's. I guess you, you can't really complain about it. It's. Uh, nothing to get excited about, it's just a pretty much standard uh, friction lock deployance. But the, the strap is very nice, it's a thick padded gaiter strap and you have two rows of contrast stitching. So it's a very comfortable watch, it's a really really unique um, complication with this uh, second time zone movement. So if you have a lot of money to spend and you want a really nice watch this is definitely a good option for you. So this is the Jaeger LeCoultre Master Compressor, Master Compressor Geographic. Excuse me. Thanks for watching this review, and if you want to see more watch reviews, take a look at my channel.